What up YouTube, J-Dub here, and I am back with another video, and this is basically, I mean, I guess it's kind of technically part two, but not really. I did a video uh, on the hand control operation on the Indian Challenger, and I told everybody I'm going to do a follow-up video on the how the, the ride command or the infotainment center on the Challenger works, and how it's laid out and whatnot. So, this is that follow-up video. So, uh, like I said, guys, I just want to go over how it works, the menus, how you can operate it, things like that, and the different things you can do with it. So uh, let's get into it. All right, guys. So basically, uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, go through some of the stuff on the ride control. So when you wake up the bike, uh, the uh, Indian motorcycle logo will come up, and basically you'll get a warning screen like any other normal infotainment center. So let's see how well this works. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so so this just happens to be the first screen that it's on. This is the phone screen. Uh, when you are actually connected to the bike, um, this will show up like whatever music you're playing or whatever not. Um, like I said, you can use your toggle here, and you can scroll through the screens. And you've got the, uh, the music screen here. You've got your navigation screen, which as far as like, Factory navigations, yes, I know I'm low on fuel. Uh, as far as factory navigation goes, this one's actually not too terrible. Uh, like I said, if you want to scroll in or out on the GPS, you just hit the toggle here, and that will scroll in or out and however you want to do things. You can all do that from the ride control. Um, if you want to uh, select something, which it, I don't think it'll let you do it when you're actually going down the road, but like I said, this is all touchscreen, by the way, so you can actually tap this, and you get the search, and you can either put the address in, or you can search nearby stuff more. This will give you even more stuff that you can scroll through and look through. Um, but that's that's the navigation, uh, basically, right there. Click again. This is your phone here. You can once you have it actually hooked up, you can go through your contacts. You got your keypad there, messages, and then obviously your Bluetooth. And it's going to have for me to talk to uh, to connect to different things I have, Pack Talk Bold, and all that. Another one. There's your screen again. Now this is where this is kind of nice because this gets super customizable. I can literally have anything I want on this screen here. So I have my GPS. It will be active while I. Uh, It'll be active while I, uh, I'm i going here, but I can also connect to the Apple CarPlay here if I so choose. Um, this is basically what my last trip was, and then this is obviously what my average fuel economy has been since I reset this last. But you can hit the small menu system here, and I can choose anything I want here. Okay, anything I want, you just basically hold it and you can move it over wherever you want. And like I said, it's super customizable, which is nice. Um, once you're done, you just hit uh, check mark or done, and it brings back to the screen. Um, real quick, so you got these five buttons. These are hard buttons on the bike. Okay, so the first one is, like I said, this is rider screens. This is basically going to cycle you through. This is the same thing the toggle does. This is going to cycle you through all your different screens. Okay, the second one, navigation, right here. You press this, and this is going to take you right back to your big navigation screen. Uh, the center one is controls. This one here will allow you to adjust the uh, how lit um, the screen is. You also can have it selected to auto, which I do. It'll switch from night mode to, uh, to day mode and whatnot. Um, you also have your ride modes here. You have rain, standard, and sport. Uh, sport is basically uh, that's just full throttle, always like no hesitation of the uh, no hesitation of the um, throttle at all. Standard is what I usually ride in most of the time, especially when I'm going through like a lot of curves and stuff. Unless I'm trying to do some kind of a time attack or something, that's usually where I'm at. Um, and then obviously rain mode is actually really nice for when it is raining. It, it dulls the throttle a little bit, so there's uh, less chance of the rear tire kicking out. And then obviously you can select your, uh, you can select your, um, trash control on or off. I usually leave it on and it may, it works well, so I don't usually have to worry about it. If you want to go to all settings, this is basically where you're going to get all your, uh, information at, okay? Uh, general, this goes through all your all your uh, spuff here you could change everything you want to like uh, uh, if you're Canadian or whatever you want to go to Celsius or kilometers or whatever uh, this allows um, 
this allows you to set up the time, uh, your audio. This helps you with the equalizer. Like I said, if you want your bass to be up a little bit, you know, you want your middle to be up a little bit, your treble, you know, it's actually very intuitive. It's actually very, very nice. Um, however you want to do it. And then vehicle, like I said, this is the pass lock. This is how you change it. You can take your turn your cylinder deactivation off, which I have off. I don't like it on. Uh, your oil life, it'll give you the diagnostics, tire pressure monitoring, GPS status, all this stuff. Like I said, that's all found in that general thing. And when you're done, you just press, you can press it twice, and then you're done, okay? Hit the Indian there, and you're good. Okay? The next one is... Uh, phone basically you press that that's going to take you to your phone screen and then the last one is audio so when you're done here you just go to your uh, uh that's your audio screen okay so that's your audio screen so when you go through all this uh like i said it um the navigation let's get over to the main thing there here here you go so this is kind of like the command center almost this is like the default screen and you can customize this as well like i said it's just the same thing you hit the the settings button you can change out anything you want here i have mile per hour digital it'll show me how many miles till empty what my voltage is on my battery uh miles i have left till my next oil change i it won't it won't register the psi on the tires for the tire pressure monitoring system until i've actually uh, got the bike on and it rolls for a minute but that'll actually show me where my uh, PSI is. And I've tested it several times. It's pretty accurate. So that's that's pretty cool. Miles still empty. And then obviously right here it shows you the engine temperature because the bike is water cooled. So you have all that. Okay. Uh, you move on to the next one. This one's just a current ride screen. Um, once again, it'll show you how long you've been riding, how long you were stopped, your elevation changes, how much distance you've gone. Uh, once again, this will show the tire pressure. This is the home link, which I have not installed yet, but I am fully uh, wanting to get that taken care of at some point here soon. Uh, this will actually allow you to open your garage doors via the screen here. And then uh, this right here, when you actually have your phone connected, this will uh, have the current song off your phone playing and all that stuff, so you can have that there. And once again, this is all customizable, guys. You can have whatever you want on there. Uh, it, it's just that simple. But those are the main basic screens um, that you're going to use. Um, like I said, when you're going into something and you want to use something, like I said, it can all be done via your toggles here. So, like I said, that right there will allow me to select what I want. Like I said, gas stations, I select that and it will find the gas stations in the area. Like I said, the GPS, while I still like to use the Android Auto because I like Google Maps better, uh, overall, this is a pretty, not, not bad of a GPS. It's not the greatest, but then again, I haven't met very many, I haven't seen very, very many manufacturers that uh, I liked uh, their factory navigation. So there's that. Now, see, it just went into night mode for some reason. Probably because it's a little dark in here. The light's not great, so... Uh, now, if you get a pursuit, or you end up getting a challenger with the uh, with the uh, electronic load adjustment, I believe all that stuff will be down here. I don't have that on my bike, um, but I believe all that information will be down here that allows you to do the shock preload and everything for the passenger and all that stuff. Yeah, see, it gives you all this information here for all the closest gas stations. You just hit the button, and it's pretty simple to work. Uh, but like I said, guys... Um, Getting back to uh, getting back to that screen real quick. So yeah, all that all that stuff will be here on the pursuit and whatnot. But that's where all you'll find all that. I just don't have it on my bike. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty simple, guys. Like I said, it's not it's not difficult to navigate this. Uh, I'd say learning the hand controls for what does what without actually having to touch the screen probably took me the most amount of time to learn, uh, just because of like moving things back, moving things forward, whatever have you. You know, it, it, but it is very easy to navigate once you learn it. It, it, you just gotta, you just gotta know, you just gotta, you just gotta learn it. It's not, like I said, it's really not hard. Uh, if we want to, let's go to the, the audio screen. Uh, when you go to the source, there, okay. 
Okay, so we hit the source there. You go to FM, like I said, it's, 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 it's the same thing, guys. Like I said, you can use this to toggle, and you can move the uh, you can move the uh, volume up and down, and you of course can you select whatever you want there. Like I said, I mean, it's really it's it's not hard. You just gotta you just gotta learn what the actual what the actual screen does. You know, you can, you're toggling here, and this leads this stuff down to scan. You can get all your presets here, settings. Um, you know, like I said, you can actually move the, move the, um, the screen via your toggle and stuff. Just kind of depends on how you want to do it. Okay. Okay, real quick here on the map, uh, on the navigation, uh, I want to make sure I cover one thing, the Ride Command uh, app. People have asking me, how do you get to the weather stuff? Because it has the weather and the traffic updates. If you have the subscription, uh, which I still have, I think, three months on my subscription or something, uh, you have to pay for that service, though. I really don't think it's worth it. I just check the weather. I try my best, but some people do, so I'm not going to, you know... I'm not going to uh, demean anybody for having it. But you go there. You, if it's not out there, you just click on the tab here. Map layers. And this will actually show you. Speed limit, uh, weather, traffic, radar, all that stuff. And then when you're on here, and like I said, you scroll out, you can actually see like weather conditions and things. Now, it's a really nice day today, so I doubt we're going to see any. Uh, same thing with traffic. Like traffic right now is not really crazy so i don't know how much we're going to actually see but it does work i've used it um like i said i just don't think it's worth a monthly subscription that's just my personal opinion but that is how you access that uh, i've had a lot of people say how do i access my weather app and all this stuff and that's how you do it okay all right y'all that's going to do it for the video on the ride commands uh setup and all that i'm sure i left some stuff out if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I try to get everybody. I try to get back to everybody I can in the comments. Um, like I said, it's not difficult. I just wanted to make a video because I know a lot of people ask, "Oh, how's that work? Oh, where are all the menus?" And I'm like, "Oh, I'll just show. I'll show a quick video, just showing you uh, at least what I've seen so far. There might be more to this that I just haven't." found out or recognized, but I'm pretty sure I've got it pretty well mapped out at this point. So hopefully this video has been helpful uh, and informational for you guys. Um, like I said, I'm constantly bringing videos. Like I said, this is one of two videos that I've uploaded uh, one day apart from each other. So like I said, keep sharing, keep subscribing, keep liking the videos. I appreciate every one of you. Y'all are awesome. And like I said, uh, Leave comments down. I try to get back to everybody in the comments, questions, comments, whatever. And uh, like I said, guys, when I get the next video, 